Hey guys, Solos here, and welcome back to the finale of Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we made it through Grunty's Furnace Fun here, and answered some very, very tough trivia questions, but ultimately, we chased the old witch off, and now we have to go complete our grudge and, well, beat her. So, uh, um, a little thing I want to point out first before we get into this is that you can actually go onto the board now and explore it however you want and grab any one-ups that you may not have gotten through the quiz. I did that. I left one back there, um, and I'm not going to get it because I'm lazy. You recognize this place from the beginning of the game? Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a really long while. So as you can see here, we have one final challenge of a note door requiring, um, it looks like 800 notes. Meaning that you literally need most of the notes in this game to even complete the game. Like, it's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there. To fill it up is no means feat. A lot of J's make it complete. Well, lucky for you, we have every Jiggy in the game. And as you can see, I'm sad to say down there you'll stop because I'm safe here at the top. We only have six Jiggies left over after all of that. Six. We need to nearly 100% this game just to beat it. And if you come in here, you can see, well, this is where... All of the stuff was happening during the game over screens. It's so cool to finally get to explore some of these places. It's really, really neat. Alright, so. Let's not waste any time with this one. Let's head straight in here. Uh-oh. Phew. What a disgusting smell. Oh, visitors for dingpots. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any, sewer breath. Ah, what does strange birdie thing mean? Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sick in me earlier. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot! Soon I'll have you nice and hot! See these filthy clothes I've got? When I've won, you'll wash the lot! Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can find us a way up there. No problem. Just sploosh on in, and I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there? <laughs> no way! Come on, Kazooie. You get a chance to peek the witch's butt. Peck the bitch's butt. Uh, let's go. All right. Well, that's right. If you just go ahead and jump right on in, we will be heading to the final boss of the game. But you see there is note doors around here. 182. That's almost every note in the game. And your reward is this. That is essential for beating this game. <laughs> if you get every honeycomb piece in the game, you can step on that right there and get double health. That red health means it'll deplete and then we will get better. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right. And we can have an infinite replete on our eggs, on our gold feathers. And on our red feathers. Now, this you would have even more if you went to the Treasure Trove Cove Sandcastle to, you know, do the whole thing where you sneak in, get more, and punch in the codes. But I decided not to do that because I think it's possible. So, guys, without further ado, I think it's to be ascend to the top of this castle and put an end to Gruntilda's Reign of Terror. I can't believe that furry pair got right up here! It's so unfair! But now this stupid bear must fight! 
This battle tests your skills and might! Welcome to the final boss with Gruntilda. This is not your typical 3D platformer final boss. This is very hard. And I've actually been dreading this episode a little bit. So what you have to do is wait for her gas to run out, I guess, and then you can peck her butt, just like Kazooie was wanting. This is a boss that, it's very challenging. It's very, very challenging. Um, you'll see more, the commentary is not gonna be very great, because when I first did this boss, it took me a lot of tries. I would recommend trying not to grab those eggs and gold feathers and red feathers on accident on the side, because Newsflash will be using them all in this fight. All of them. So, good luck. Uh, that's all I can say. So three hits and she's down for phase one. Phase one, I said. This is the first, like, real, actual boss this game has ever had. Um, and, well, they really just went all out with it. <laughs> it's very not easy. So for this first phase, you kind of just want to dodge her going back and forth. And peck her in the butt when you're done. You get one health node in case you missed any. I did not. I should have probably just left that sitting there. Alright, for this... You have to use a gold feather. That will seek you down until it hits you. The only way to get out of that is to use a gold feather. And what we want to do now is get up here and sure thanks! Uh, yeah, I'll take some damage there. Uh, it's not very easy. You have to jump up and do it. Alright, we got her. Very nice. Alright, I'm probably not going to talent try for this part. Retreat, retreat! Okay, okay. Alright. Very nice. Yeah, I, the reason I didn't do the Treasure Trove Cove thing is because I think I have pl This game gives you plenty of resources to do this. I- I- oh, dear jeez. Yeah, the, the hitbox lingers a little bit on that, so be weary and not to do that too soon. Alright. This is one of the more finicky stays, um, phases of the fight. Not the hardest. Not the hardest at all, actually. And in fact, I need to make sure I'm saving some eggs, because this is not the only part of the fight that we use eggs for. I've already forgotten if I've told you it is or not, uh, but it's not. I'm just going to tell you that. <laughs> it is not. Hi, Banjo. The old hag's taken to the air. This flop pad be, be some help. This is the hardest phase. My arch nemesis is those stinking stupid snowmen, and now we have to hit her the same way we hit them. And I suck at it really bad, as you can see. So there might be quite a few jump cuts here. Um, watch out for her shooting fire at you. Hit her. Nope. The hard part about this is not just hitting her. It is accidentally, like, doing this and, like, skidding on the floor and canceling the flying animation, which will cause you to fall to your death. My gosh, I can't. It's so hard. Uh, okay, I need to focus a little bit. I need to try to focus a little bit. She will stop for you a little bit. Luckily, you can kind of line it up. Another hit! I'm getting weak! I really need to take a leak! <laughs> then go do it. I would recommend not aiming down at her. I would try to stay as even as possible because you really do want to avoid accidentally... Oh, man. Okay, it lines up weird like every time. Luckily, this is the only time in the fight you need to use red feathers, so go all out. Alright. Ah, barely. And I've already used a lot of red feathers, so... And I've only hit her once. If I run out of red feathers, it's kinda just tough luck. There we go, hit her right in the... right in the broom, actually. Alright, dodge that. She's shooting more of them now. Also, take... just listen to the music for a minute. Okay, I'll let you listen to the music and I got a chance to focus and actually landed a really good hit on her. I think she only needs one more hit in this phase. So if we can get by this, I might be home free on my first try of the video. Which I wasn't expecting at all. Like, in the slightest. <laughs> so, um, the sooner the better. That's all I'm going to say. The sooner the better. Don't hit me with those, you stupid witch. I hate you. I hate you. Okay, I almost just shot out of like, yeah, just get it over with. But... Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. No, 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 no. Okay, she stopped. I wasn't preparing for her to stop. Don't get hit. Okay, cool. Alright, we're running out of red feathers. 
I think I'm letting the whole fact that there's only like one more hit. There we go! Okay, we got her. Alright. No, we didn't. She still needs more hits. No, we don't. So Reggie doesn't come to grief! Here's a. <laughs> Alright. Is it over? No, I don't know, actually. Are we done in the air? No, no, we're not. Okay, here we go. All right, this part is, this part is kind of tough. But what we need to do is continue to dodge her fireballs and we need to shoot eggs in these Jinjo statues. All right, that's all it takes. We got one awakened. Come on, buddy, help us out. All right. Alright, let her shoot another one. Okay, I'm really focused right now because I'm actually kind of hype if I can do this on my first try. I've never done this on my first try. Um, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. She's really good with aiming those. Like, really, really good. Okay, really, really, really good. Really good. <laughs> really, 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 really good. I don't, okay, quit praising her. Just kill her. All right, we did it. We did it. All right, I'm, I'm choking, kind of. I'm kind of choking. Kind of choking. Not gonna lie. All right. Good, good, good. Good job, little guy. Fuck, Banjo! It takes so long to turn. Sorry for my language, but it's intense. Okay. Woo okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. That last shot failed to stop. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't even want to read that. I'm like, my heart rate is going out the roof. All right, dodge, dodge, dodge. It's kind of a good idea to kind of just go back and forth like this for a little bit, and then da 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 da. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I am the mighty Gingerator. Activate me. I really think you ought to run when I beat him and spoil the fun. Okay, okay, okay. All right, hard part, hard part coming in. We gotta do the same thing, but we gotta do it to all sides of this. All sides of this. Da 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 da! Alright, alright, alright. No, 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 no! What? Alright, is it done? I don't know. It's not. It's not. Okay, 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 okay. It's done. Oh man, I was too late. I was too late. Oh gosh, don't choke now! Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I can't see at the angle! Oh, oh come on, Kazooie. One more, one more, one more. Oh, come on, just go for it! Just go for it! No! No, I didn't mean to do that! Holy crap, no! Come on! Oh man! Oh my! I kept hitting the wrong button because I was getting nervous! No! Oh man! I was so close! Literally, I was so close! Alright, well. Ah uh, uh, oh man, I just wasted a gold feather. Let's. I can't get him again! Okay, neat. Alright. That sucks! So yeah, you gotta kinda just keep repleting on your energy there. Here we go. I get it, I get it, I get it. Let's go. Alright. I don't know if I'll make a jump cut, we'll see. I was so close to doing it on the first try too, that's what sucks. And having to do like all the phases- WHAT?! NO WAY! Oh, come on! <laughs> I jumped into her. Like an idiot. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, very good, very good. Come here. Alright, Banjo, not bad. Not bad. Four hits per phase, it looks like, actually. 
this is the easiest phase. This is basically just a, a freebie. The only reason I took a hit is because I'm kind of an idiot. Which one is she going to go to first? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was so close. Okay, she goes all the way over there first. Really? That's very nice. Thank you. Alright, cool. We got her, we got her, we got her, we got her. Wait for her to fire. What? Oh, come on. Oh, Lord have mercy. This part is weird. I never understood it very well. Like, at all. Yeah, you're seeing now why the extra health is, like, essential for this fight. Like, very essential. Oh, come on! I always jump a little too early and the lingering hitbox always hits me. You need a lot of eggs for this fight, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but you need a lot of eggs. Three. No, 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 no. Okay, we got him. No way! Come on! Really? Alright, alright. <laughs> we are kind of back where we were. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is so nerve-wracking. The biggest problem is how long it takes Banjo to, like, get done with animations. Because it doesn't give you enough time to, like, dodge anything. Alright. I am the Mighty Ginginator. Activate me. Okay, 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 okay. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Alright. See what I mean? That animation lasts forever and you can't get out in time! Okay. Okay, four. Four, five! Okay, we got two down, two down. All right, all right, all right. Just dodge, dodge for a minute, dodge for a minute. Come on! This is so stupid! Because he takes forever to just stand there. And then he just gets hit over and over. All right, all right. No, God, why do I keep doing that? I can't, I can't do it. it it's too hard. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I did not, I did not, I did not. I did it! Oh, we beat it! Oh, oh my god! Oh, such triumph! Oh my gosh, such triumph! Only, uh, what was that? Uh, three or four tries. That's better than my last time. Oh my god, we did it! The Ginginator! Finish it! Finish it for us! What a good thing to do on Halloween other than to beat a witch's butt. Bam! Your crafty plan stands no chance. I'm firmly rooted in his stats. I don't think so. Over, I can tell, but Crunchy's got just one more spell. That missed.
This is great. Have we finished now, Tootie? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that? Shorty, I'm a hero. Yes, I suppose you are. Well done, guys. Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. And the exact... Well, not the exact same credits we saw before, but this is the cast list of characters. Klungo. We didn't see a lot of Klungo, but there's Klungo. Ladies and gentlemen, for real this time, this has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. I was absolutely loving this LP 100%. From, I, I started speaking weird because I got a text on my phone. I looked at it. I loved this LP from episode 1 to episode 12, the one we're on now. I love this game, and I'm so glad I finally got to share it on a platform like this. Um, I've seen my channel grow during this LP. Not, not crazy, not, not like blow up, should I say? But I've seen it grow in a way that I've never seen a channel of mine grow. One that makes me realize that I love to do this. I said it a lot last episode. Thank you to everyone who's like watched all my videos, commented, had some discourse with me about it. I really, that means so much to me. This has been an absolute blast of a time to play. And to play this with so many people who also love this game and can share some passion for it has been amazing. This truly is my favorite thing to do. I stream and everything, but recording Let's Plays is what brings me more joy than anything on this planet. And ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't have done any of that without the motivation that you've given me. There's been some times during this LP that I've thought, I want to record, but I'm really, I don't know, because I have a really bad problem with motivation. Um, but when I see comments on videos saying what your favorite parts are and how much fun you're having with the LP, that motivates me to get up right then and there and come record and edit all at once and just throw the video up and it feels so good to be putting products out on the internet that I'm proud of. And if it brings joy to people, that is just amazing to me. I want to thank each and every one of you who supported this playthrough. And I, it, this playthrough will always hold a special place in my heart. As it started with a weird setup, but it ended with me having a brand new setup. A brand new setup being a brand new laptop and the ability to actually use the Elgato recording software so we can record in 1080p HD instead of 720 like we were before. So, I couldn't have done any of that. I wouldn't have pulled the plug to make that purchase. I wouldn't have had the motivation to do this LP. I wouldn't have had any of this if it hadn't been for the, just the few of you who have been watching this LP through and through. It means the world to me. It means the world to me to be able to do this and just feel like people are enjoying it. And I really, truly, truly do love that. But Banjo Kazooie, you normally back in the day, I would make a um, habit of rating the game during the credits of my LP. So gameplay-wise, if I had to do a zero to five stars gameplay-wise for Banjo Kazooie, I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. Uh, I think it's some of the best 3D platformer um, gameplay to offer ever. But, uh, as you saw there at the end, some of the clunkiness with accidentally pushing buttons and having something happen, or how much lag there is after certain moves makes it a little hard. Um, that could be more of a design choice than anything, but I personally doesn't fit with me, so I'm going to give it a 4 for that. Um, music, I'm going to give the game a 4.5 out of 5. It's got a lot of memorable tracks, but it also has some kind of kind of forgettable ones. Mumbo's Mountain isn't the most memorable thing, but like stuff like Click Clock Wood, um, uh, la la la, Mad Monster Mansion, Freezy Easy Peak, yeah, those are very memorable. And the theme overall. I'm giving it a 4.5 for that, just because I'm very stingy about giving 5 out of 5s. Um, you know, art style, I'm giving it a 4.5 as well, because the game is very consistent with how goofy it is, and how you know, weird everything is, so I, I truly do love that. My overall rating for the game is a, a 4 out of 5. I love this game. It's one of my top 10 favorite games of all time, and 
It has been absolutely great. As I said in the last episode, I'm a big JRPG fan, so it says a lot that I let's play this over a JRPG for my big, my big comeback. So, that speaks volumes of this game and how much I truly love it. It's good to finally know what those guys' names are. They tortured me a lot. And there's good old Cheeto. Um, there were a few stop and swap items that I did not collect, so I might go back in a bonus episode and do that. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain. What's on him? Got pictures of things you missed. Secrets used in next game. Oh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great, so let's see the pictures then, skirt boy. <laughs> did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midget. <laughs> Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for when new game Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. Sounds great. Is it any good? Mumbo jaw dropping off. Hey, I'd better be in it too, short stuff. Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts. Make Banjo Kazooie look like joke. Mumbo, show you pictures of stuff you use in New Game. Here, take a look. Alright, so what this is going to do right now is show us the locations of the stop and swap items that we missed. I pointed this one out earlier in the series, but I did not go for it. It's out here in this little floating island thing. And of course, you just go in there, and I don't know if he's going to show you the whole thing, but you basically just do a platforming challenge up to the top, and you find out a stop and swap. What's up there, dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. No, it looks rather high. Don't worry, Banjo. It looks like I have to get us up there. And they can't do it. I love it. Next secret found in snow. That's Waz's cave. I'm pretty sure we got this one, didn't we? We've already been in here. Oh, oh. Hey, what was that egg for on the beach? Tell us. Bird, be quiet. Watch picture. Yeah, we got this one. I'm pretty sure. Or a giant ice key. I know where I'd like to stick that. Oh, because it, Kazooie. <laughs> and the other one. Yeah, we got this one too. I guess it's just showing us all of the locations. Interesting. Nice, Mumbo. Now tell us what the eggs and keys are for. No. Bird root to Mumbo. Not tell. I wonder what's in here. Huh. It's only another stupid egg. Wow. How do we get those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Let's look at this sunset together as we conclude this adventure. Thank you so much, everybody. <sighs> Rock so heavy, but Klungo must rescue the mistress. Oh, the jiggies you did snatch, but I'll be back for my rematch!